Hello, Paul Hamilton here. Um, I often get asked by parents of, of young students what apps to get to help um, development of literacy skills and so forth. So um, I thought I'd do this tutorial because it's, it's less about the apps and it's more about the actual activity and, and the learning experience that you provide. So what we're going to do today is we're going to use two apps. You can see them down the bottom there, Book Creator and Draw and Tell. And the purpose of this um, lesson or the, the purpose of the learning activity is actually to teach kids about number sense, uh, number stories, and really get them exploring in a visual way that makes learning visible um, and really get students to think about what they're doing with number sentences. So I'm going to use Draw and Tell. Uh, just come across this app. So there we go. Duck, duck, moose. And what we're going to do is start with the blank paper. Now, I don't think as students, they start with blank canvases enough. By starting with a blank canvas with very little on it, it allows greater creativity. So I'm just going to select... Um, doesn't really matter, I'll just go with this color here. Very easy to use, so I'm gonna hit the little paintbrush up the top, and you can see that little bird on the right-hand corner there, they're the stamps. So I'm gonna select stamps, and what I'm gonna do is just bring in some sheep. Uh, I might bring in three of them, and then I might just bring three more just up the top here. Now, we can allow our students to really think about what they're actually going to do with this. Um, so we can leave it up with them, which is fine. We might need a little character over here. Let me just bring over this guy here. By tapping on, we can make double tap. We can actually make it a little bit bigger too. So I'll make this guy bigger. And so my number story is about um, sheep coming over here and it's about adding up three plus three. So it's looking at a total, it's looking at, at, at sums of and additions and so forth. Um, so the beauty about this app, before I actually start moving them, I'm gonna select, tap back on the little guy at the top and you can see there that there is a, uh, a microphone at the top there. So I'm gonna create, uh, or ask my students to, to create a little number story that tells a story at the same time developing some of these um, uh, concepts of number and addition and so forth. So I'll have a go here and, and see how I go. I'm not sure if this is going to come out on the tutorial, but I'll do my best. So I'll press record. One day there was a little mouse farmer and he wanted to keep all of his sheep safe from the rain. So he asked them to come over. So one sheep came over, another sheep came over, and another sheep came over. That's three sheep. But then another sheep came over and another and another. So if we count the sheep, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six sheep, now under the comfort and the protection of the umbrella. We started with three sheep, and then three more came along, and it has a total of six sheep. And I pressed finish. So when we press finish there, it's actually done the recording. I can listen to it back by pressing the play at the top, I'll press stop. And so it's done a very good job of recording my number story. And this is very much achievable with young students, very young students, anywhere from uh, three, four years of age, right up to six and seven and so forth. So now I'm going to press the back arrow, the top left hand corner, and it saves it. And what I can now do near the rubbish bin, I can actually save that movie to my camera roll. Can you see the little icon up there? So I'll select the one that I just did. Save to photos, it's saving to photos, it'll do that pretty quickly. Um, and all of a sudden we've got like a screencast, we've got a, a recording of the movement of the animals, but also the actual visual and the story behind it as well in the math. So I'm just gonna get out of that, that's saved beautifully. I'll get out of draw and tell, and I'll jump into book creator. And what we could actually do is start a new book in book creator and we could allow our students to create a little diary, a, a number story diary. So let's see how we go. So I'll press plus, I'll add some text. Now, students might like to just draw or actually record their voice as a title page, but I'm just gonna put down my number stories. Oops, press done. 
Now, if your students are not familiar with Book Creator, you can do a little bit of work with them, but um, not difficult to use. Just pressing the I, I might just center that a little bit. You might also um, allow students to maybe bring in a picture or bring in some drawing if they want. I think I've got a little photo here somewhere of just a little uh, number. That makes a good title page. And what we can allow our students to do then is to create a journal, a number story journal of the different numbers that we, we looked at. So the first one that we did, I'll add a little bit of pen and I'll put down the number six because our number story was all about the number six. And what I could then do is press plus, add photos, and then that last video, that 49 seconds, press use, bring it into Book Creator, and now I've got a number story journal of numbers and a story that makes up the number six. Really powerful visual mathematical concepts that get kids thinking about numbers, um, adding numbers together, but all in a fun and storytelling, digital storytelling kind of way. So I hope you really like that um, tutorial. Once again, it's looking at those two apps Draw and Tell and Book Creator. Yes, you do need to do a little bit of um, explicit teaching. Um, you need to teach them about Book Creator and Draw and Tell. Uh, allow your students some time to actually play with those two apps first and then give them some direction about what you actually are after in regard to the number stories and then let them be creative. So we've got some really explicit teaching, some directions that we're asking our students to do, but then we're allowing them some really open-ended um, activities that allow students to communicate some mathematical concepts. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.